Hey, I'm Jeffrey and welcome back to the channel. Now I found that making exercise a part of my routine is hard, like really hard. I mean, one workout isn't all that difficult on its own. You show up, you get through it, you feel like you've conquered the world, but then the next day arrives and you realize that you need to do this all over again. And this kind of resistance is what makes consistency difficult. Stephen Pressfield writes about resistance in his book, The War of Art, saying that the battle must be fought anew every day. It's just as true for exercise as it is for art, and thankfully there are some strategies that we can use to help us so that in addition to fighting the good fight, we don't also have to pick the battle, plan the battle, or even worry about getting to the battle. Exercise makes us uncomfortable enough without having to deal with all that other friction. So in this video, I'm going to use James Clear's Four Laws of Behavior Change to talk about some tips that keep me showing up time and time again. And just a quick note before I get started that my workout of choice right now is indoor cycling on my Peloton, but I think these tips are universal and will apply to just about any other type of exercise you want to start doing consistently. So let's just jump right in. The first law of behavior change is to make it obvious. My Peloton is set up in my bedroom so that there's a constant visual reminder. If I kept it in a room with the door closed, that wouldn't be so obvious, and it would be easier to ignore. If you're a runner, you can keep your running shoes next to the door as a reminder instead of putting them away in a closet. You want to design your environment to have as many cues as possible for the behavior that you want to reinforce. We can also design our digital environments as well to make it obvious for us. For me, that means having my daily habit tracker have a column for cycling. I even use a little bike graphic to make it even more visual. The second law is to make it attractive. I used to use an older elliptical model and it was a pretty basic piece of kit. I found it so hard to exercise routinely because I was just so bored using it. My mind was not being engaged at all. So not only were the workouts physically uncomfortable, but they were mind numbing as well. And having those two negative emotions associated with exercise made it really unattractive. So when I bought a Peloton a couple years ago, it was really a game changer for me. Watching classes on the screen made it so much more vis visually appealing. And having coaches to guide you through the workouts made it so much more mentally engaging as well. Especially if you can find a coach that resonates with you. Initially, I struggled to find a good instructor. A lot of times it felt too much like they were performing for the camera, and that just ended up turning me off from quite a few classes. But then I found Matt Wilpers, a coach who felt so authentic that it made all the difference in the world. It feels like it is just you and him out for a ride, despite the fact that he's doing a class that's being watched by tens of thousands of people. You get this real sense of connection that keeps you coming back again and again, which is amazing when you think that it's all accomplished, accomplished one way through the monitor. So when you can make the experience much more attractive, either through using coaches, adding music, or working out with friends, it becomes much easier to do it consistently. The third law is to make it easy. I often find it hard to show up for the work when I do not form a clear intention around when and for how long I want to exercise. If I just left it as this undefined thing that I wanted to do, then I would just keep putting it off until later and later, finding one excuse after another, until eventually I would just give up for the day. That's because I was making it so much harder to get started. Not only did I need to work out, but I was expending mental energy all day thinking about the little decisions that go into it. It's like every five minutes my mind was asking itself, how about now? No? Well, how about now? And that drained my willpower reserves so that I had nothing left in the tank to actually do the workout. But once I started making my intention explicit in the morning or the night before about what specific type of workout I wanted to do and when I wanted to do it, usually through writing it down in my journal or putting it on my to-do list, then it became a lot easier. All I had to worry about then was executing the plan. And the last law of behavior change is to make it satisfying. There are two things that I'll mention here. The first has to do with using a habit tracker, which I covered in a previous video. You can check it out with the link on screen. 
But basically, if you can see measurable progress each time you work out, then it becomes much more satisfying to complete each exercise. The other tip is to spend some time being mindful of how good you feel afterwards. Oftentimes, we will just focus on on how uncomfortable we are during the session, then rush off to the next action when we're done. But if we can slow down, be mindful, realize how proud we are of ourselves for showing up for another day, and just really connect and catalog that emotion, then we can bring it to mind the next time we're struggling to get started. Just thinking about what it is that's waiting for us on the other side will make us realize how satisfying the behavior actually is. So those are the tips that I found to help me exercise more consistently. Make it more obvious by having reminders in both my physical and digital environments. Use coaches to make the activity more engaging and attractive. Make all the decisions ahead of time so it's easier to show up and do the work. And finally, use a habit tracker and connect with how good it makes me feel to make the experience more satisfying. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any tactics that help you to exercise more consistently, I would love to hear about them down in the comments below. Have a great day and I will see you all next time.